Hey, so yeah, I want to talk to you about Harry Potter today. I think we are far enough in our internet friendship that you need to know I'm a Ravenclaw. Technically, there's nothing wrong with being a Ravenclaw. You're supposed to be like wise or whatever, intelligent. Typical Ravenclaw tends to be a free spirit, so what? We suffer from many, many self-destructive behaviors. They love the arts, and they dedicate many of their hours to entertaining their mind and spirit. All of these result in mainly sitting in the same spot. Also, I never seen other people. Ever. See, Ravenclaws always want to be better. We're not the popular ones, we're not the hated ones. I mean, if you notice, we were hardly in the goddamn movies. So we're always trying to make up for that and try to be well liked and accepted and respected by our peers. But of course, the things we like and makes us the most interesting are the things that keep us away from those we're trying to connect with in the first place. Hey, what's up? Do you need a drink? Let's go to a bar. You know, I can't really go out tonight. Why not? Okay, bye. Now, I wouldn't say we're all torture geniuses, but we're definitely misunderstood creatures. Most Ravenclaws tend to be very quiet and a lot of people tend to think we're stuck up. I personally have a resting bitch face, so I can't really blame other people if they think I'm stuck up. But I'm not. I'm very friendly. I really like other people and every once in a while I even want to interact with them. Just not often enough that I don't feel like I have a long time in. I had a hard time realizing I was a Ravenclaw. Mostly because I think I saw myself in one gesture. I was blinded. I mean, who doesn't want to be a Gryffindor? Who doesn't want to be the main character? I mean, I'm such a Ravenclaw. I read every single book we were assigned in high school, except for one goddamn book, The All Men in the Sea. I mean, that was definitely written for all men and by an old man. I couldn't even get past the first chapter. I have accepted my fate. And I can tell you that the best part about being a Ravenclaw is that we are the most curious ones, we're the creative ones, the intellectuals, the inventors, the iconoclasts. And because we've always been told that we're weird, we go out of our way to make other people that are on the outside feel good about who they are. And so we're open-minded and accept other people for who they are because we want to be accepted for the weirdos that we are. That was all I wanted to tell you. I just, um... I figured all the great YouTubers have a Harry Potter video, so I might as well make mine. Thank you for watching this video if you still are. I did cut my hair if you noticed. Um, it was one of those things where I wanted a little trim and then I ended up like this. So I'm gonna go get my hair cut tomorrow by a professional. Thank you for watching and always sharing my stuff on social media. I see it. Even if I don't comment on it, I see you guys doing it. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.